I am Miss Jessie, your subject teacher for organization and management. For this week, we are going to discuss the meaning, functions, and theories of management. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the meaning, functions, types, and theories of management. Ready na ba kayo? Kung ready na kayo, ready na din ako. Let's go! Our first activity is entitled, Four Picks, One Word. I'm sure alam na alam niyan. So, will you please think of a four-letter word which represents those four pictures? Oops! Pause mo muna. Pag may answer ka na, saka ka mag-proceed. At ang tamang sagot ay, Tcharan! Goal! Kapag nakuha mo yan, good job ka! Ngayon, siguro sasabihin mo, Ma'am, bakit yan ang initial activity natin? Kasi, in this lesson, you will learn that all organizations, maliit man yan o malaki, as in all organizations, need good managers in order to accomplish their goals. And that organizational management is definitely not an easy task. And coordination, effectiveness, and efficiency are required to carry it out. Tanong, ano nga ba ang management? Management is defined as the process of working with people and resources to accomplish organizational goals effectively and efficiently. Ma'am, resources, ano ba yung mga yan? Pag sinabing resources, hindi lang yan yung mga raw materials. Pwede rin naman yung time, di ba? Kapag sa isang kumpanya, very important or valuable ang time. Pati yung mga raw materials, mga supplies, ganyan. Kailangang i-handle yon ng management. Hindi lang mga empleyado, hindi lang members ng organization. Pati ang mga iba pang resources para ma-accomplish nila ang organizational goal. Isa pa, sabi dyan, kailangan ma-accomplish ang organizational goal effectively and efficiently. Ano bang pinagkaiba niyan? Kapag sinabi natin effectively, it's like saying na you are doing the right thing. Kapag efficiently naman, ibig sabihin you are doing things right. Like for example, kailangan mong mag-aral. So sabi mo, mag-aaral ako ngayong gabi. Nag-aral ka ng organization and management. So did you do the right thing? Yes, effective ka kasi nag-aral ka. However, habang nag-aaral ka, naka-on ang TV, andyan yung cellphone mo, nag-Facebook ka, andyan nga nag-aaral ka, tinatry mo mag-aaral, oh my gosh, you are multitasking. After mong mag-aaral, puyat na puyat ka. Tapos, nung hihiga ka na, naisip mo, ano nga ba yung mga pinag-aralan ko? Nakalimutan ko na. You did the right thing, tama? But, did you do it right? Gets niyo po? Kung mag-aaral ka, gawin mo ng tama yung pag-aaral. Parang ako, pag nag-aaral ako, gusto ko tahimik para ma-absorb ko lahat. So, kung kayo din, kung ano yung sa tingin niyo na makakatulong sa inyo na magawa ng tama yung gawain ninyo, yun yung dapat na i-apply natin. Gets niyo na po ba ang effectiveness and efficiency? Okay, so kung gets niyo na, next na tayo. According to Henry Fayol, there are five functions of management at kailangan daw ang mga ito para ma-achieve ang organizational success. Ano-ano itong mga to? Number one, planning. Number two, organizing. Number three, commanding. Number four, coordinating. And number five, controlling. Kaya lang, sa pagdaan ng panahon, nagbago na ito at naging four functions na lang. Ano-ano ba yung mga four managerial functions? Number one dyan ang planning. Pag sinabing planning, yan ay yung pagpaplano. It's like you are going to decide beforehand what is to be done in the future. Number two naman, organizing. Meaning, you are going to organize the activities and resources, identify tasks, classify, classify the tasks, mag-assign ka ng duties sa mga subordinates, at saka pag-aallocate din ng mga resources. Pag-organize. Number three naman is leading. It involves inspiring and motivating workers to work hard 
para makatulong sila sa pag-achieve ng organizational goal. And lastly, controlling. It involves monitoring all the performances. Minomonitor mo lahat ng performances para malaman or ma-assess natin if everything goes according to plan. At tandaan natin, organizational success is guaranteed if managers perform or carry out well all the functions of management. Ano ulit yung mga functions ng management? Planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. We are done with the functions of management. Let's now proceed to the evolution of theories of management. Una na dyan, ang scientific management theory. According to Frederick Taylor, ang tinagurang father of scientific management, productivity would increase by optimizing and simplifying jobs. Ibig sabihin, wag daw gawin yung mga trabaho sa paraan na yun na yung nakasanayan eh. Hindi daw. Dapat patuloy natin na pag-aralan, patuloy na pag-aralan ng management kung paano mas mapapadali kung ano ang proseso na dapat gagawin ng mga empleyado para mas mapadali yung kanilang trabaho. Para naman kay Max Weber, na proponent ng bureaucratic management, sabi niya, dapat mayroong hierarchical identification of jobs. Ibig sabihin, ang mga managers daw, dapat mag-maintain ng impersonal relationship with employees. Huwag daw masyadong close. Bakit? Kasi, kailangan daw yun para ang mga managers hindi maimpluwensyahan ng mga empleyado ang kanyang magiging desisyon. May iwasan din ang pagkabayas at saka yung favoritism. Henry File naman, sa kanyang theory na administrative management, sabi niya, dapat ay mayroong formal na organizational structure para mapakita doon ang clear division of labor at ang delegation ng power at authority ng mga administrators. Like for example, sa isang sa isang restaurant, mayroong in charge doon sa sa loob, sa kitchen. Meron din namang in charge doon sa may dining, dining area para makipag-usap sa mga customers. Yung nasa kitchen, hindi siya pwedeng makialam doon sa customers. Yung nasa customers naman, hindi rin siya pwedeng makialam sa kitchen kasi nga may division of labor at saka nakasaad na doon kung saan lang yung authority ng manager. Gets ba yun? Okay. Ito namang human relations management. Ang proponent nito ay tatlo. Si Mary Parker Follett, Elton Mayo, at saka si Chester Barnard. Ang sabi nila dito, kapag trinato mo daw ng maayos ang mga workers, at saka binigyan mo sila ng importansya, ina-appreciate yung kanilang mga effort at minomotivate sila palagi, ibig sabihin daw, yung mga employees or yung mga members ng organization, mas nagkakaroon sila ng, ng drive na makatulong para ma-achieve yung organizational goal. And, la and lastly, we have operations, information system, and contingency management. Ibig sabihin, medyo makabago na to. Gumagamit tayo ng quantitative or mathematical approaches para malaman kung paano mai-increase ang productivity ng mga members ng organization. At isa pa, sinasabi rin niya dito na walang, walang management theory ang applicable sa lahat ng organization. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung magiging applicable sa isang organization, ay nakadepende yan sa mga sitwasyon o problem na kinakaharap ng mga managers. Ngayon, kung ano sa tingin ng manager ang magandang i-apply na theory, yung na-discuss natin, yun dapat daw yung i-apply sa particular na time na yun. Okay po ba? Naintindihan? And that's it guys. Natapos na natin ang discussion. Kaya naman, it's time for a short activity. So, please answer the following question. Um, number one, what function of management involves deciding beforehand what is to be done in the future? Pause mo muna. Answer is planning. Next, who is the father of scientific management? Pause mo muna ulit. 
Ang sagot ay si Frederick Taylor. Next. What function of management involves, function of management to ah, which involves inspiring and motivating workers to work hard to achieve organizational goals? Pause mo muna. Leading! Yan ang sagot. What function of management involves organizing the activities and resources as in identifying the tasks, classifying them, assigning duties to subordinates, and allocating the resources? Saglit. Post mo muna. Organizing. And last question. What theories of management focus on people, particularly the psychological and social aspects of work? Post mo ulit and then resume kapag may sagot na. Ang sagot ay Human Relations Management. Ayan, so thank you guys. Kapag ka may tanong po kayo sa topic na ito, just text or call me 0905-261-5376. Pwede, pwede nyo rin akong i-message sa messenger, jessrose.tamayo at deped.gov.ph at para mabalik-balikan ang lesson na ito, punta lang po kayo sa Google Sites slash CNHS. O -M. So, thank you guys and for your reference, narito po yun. See you sa next lesson. Bye!